Mr. President, I rise today in support of this resolution, which is a common sense and well-reasoned effort to encourage our federal partners to expand the opportunities for the production of oil, natural gas, and energy resources in our own country so that we're not relying on dictators around the world for our own energy independence. We know that energy independence and energy security is national security. Everybody knows that. And yet, my Democrat colleagues today and some of their national partners disagree. I want to quote John Kerry, who all of us are familiar with. In fact, he was quoted on the floor here, I think just last week, by one of my Democrat colleagues. We are seeing a massive humanitarian crisis in consequence of devastating results in Ukraine right now. Human lives are being destroyed. Innocent civilians are being killed. But John Kerry wants all of you to remember the real tragedy in Ukraine is, quote, the massive emission consequences of the war. You're going to lose people's focus, he said. You're going to lose people's attention around climate change because it will be diverted. And I think that could have a real damaging impact. Kerry was pleading with Vladimir Putin the instigator of all this, to say, I hope President Putin will help us stay on track with respect of what we need to do for the climate. We know that we do not need to be beholden to people like Vladimir Putin, dictators in Venezuela, or the Ayatollah in Iran, or anybody else. We need to focus on our own energy independence. But my Democrat colleagues don't agree with that. They want you to feel guilty for driving to daring to drive a conventional fueled vehicle down the road. They want you to have a self-loathing reaction for daring to fill up your own family minivan just to get your kids to school or soccer practice or to karate lessons or any of the other things that we do in our daily lives. And if you dare drive a pickup truck, you basically are Vladimir Putin today in their eyes. On our side, we know that energy independence is national security. And we need to affirm that with this resolution today. And if you really care about the environment and really care about climate, then you would join us in making sure that pipelines are the way in which we transmit our energy in the safest, most reliable, and least impact on climate mechanism that we have. Mr. President, I urge a yes vote on this resolution.